I'm my utility blade and I cut the caulking around the baseboard. This is gonna help not damage the wall, that way you don't make more work for yourself. And then I'm just gonna use this trim puller from Goldblatt to remove the baseboard. You can also just use a pry bar and a putty knife, that also works. And luckily here, I was able to take that baseboard out in one piece. I told the homeowner either we remove the toilet or I have to do two pieces, but luckily it worked out here. And now I just got my tear measure and I measured out the old piece, which was 40 and a quarter. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the baseboard. For straight cuts, you can always use your circular saw, but if you do need to cut any angles, I strongly recommend to use the miter saw. Luckily here, I just had straight cuts, so I didn't have to worry about coping cuts or anything like that. So next, I just sanded down the baseboard with my sanding block, and I'm just going to paint it before I install it. I recommend you paint the top, the bottom, the back, the front, everything on the baseboard. Then I just let it dry, sanded it down, and then I applied the second coat. After all that, just let the paint dry, and now it's time to install. I did tell the homeowner if he wants me to replace the baseboard with something more water resistant, maybe with some actual real wood. They also sell that plastic baseboard, but it does look like plastic, which I don't necessarily